guys, how's it going? So this is going to be the new beta test, right? It's going to be uh, the new digital score sheet. You can see submit names, first, last name, same score sheet we've all seen for a while. Submit the number. Um, we're going to start checking for like unique numbers. If you don't know your number, right? Like, you know, everyone's been a sub before. You go to a team, you have no clue what jersey you're going to get or what number you're going to tape on or whatever the case is. No problem. You can leave this blank for that for that quick moment, but please, when you go to the score, when you go out on the ice, you actually have your jersey. Just tell the scorers, but hey, I'm you know Murder Hornets. I'm Kevin Curick. I'm number twelve, and they'll go no problem. Great, they'll enter it super quick, easy peasy. Um, we will start checking for number uniqueness right off of this, so the software will read, hey, do I have unique numbers? Are people at least submitting some kind of a number just so that everyone's on the same page? The referees are able to see the player numbers, all that fun stuff. Just a little bit of insight, right? So like what will happen? Like how, how do I know this will be flagged or how do I know everyone's received the same treatment? Whatever the case is, right? So this hopefully is just transparent enough for you so you feel comfortable with it. Um, league, you can see I wrote this as E, right? And I've actually submitted intentional violations, right? So I submitted Kevin, myself, and Jackson all on A-League rosters, right? So they're in an E-League game. Something should flag, right? So this is like a high level overview of the code. This is just to show an example. Um, you can see that it returns a violation of the upper level team limit, right? So remember, there's only three upper, immediate upper division, right? So if you're in C and you're playing with some B players, no problem, you can have one roster, two subs, right? For a total of three players, no problem. You can see, so the first violation flags and says, hey, I see five guys from an upper division. So that's the first rule it flags it out and goes, hey, this should not be happening. The second rule, right, is you can only have a skip league, um, or you cannot have a skip league, uh, sorry. So you can see that for the skip league violation, it says, hey, I see some guys that are rostered in A. This is an E league game. Kevin should not be playing on this. This is for team one. Notice it does the same thing for team two. But for team two, it doesn't complain about there being too many. It simply brings back the skip league violation and says, hey, we see Jackson is also an A-League player right here, and it's an E-League game, not good, right, or whatever the case is. So that's where we'd reach out to the teams or whatever the case is. You can see here, again, ignore the code if you're not a code person. If you are, please reach out. We can chat about it. Um, you can see here's a two-rostered player, right? So captains, please make sure you don't have someone who's rostered on another team. I submitted just art, just randomly. I, I saw the Deeks roster from last season, and I just wrote my name, Kevin Keurig, on it. And then I created a new team, right, that I put my team name. And it says, hey, you know, we see Kevin Keurig's rostered on two teams. That can't be the case. I can sub on two teams, especially intra-league, no problem. But I just can't be rostered on two teams. I hope that gives a little bit of insight into, like, what will happen, at least from a high level. And the software won't be run like in real time, right? So we're not gonna like call you out in, in the moment. Um, kind of as the beta test, I'll run it on a, uh, some kind of a weekly cadence or something like that. And obviously I'm not gonna go through that last guy and like punch in a new roster sheet. That's already super annoying. So one thing that I'll do is I'll probably run on like on a weekly cadence, bi-weekly cadence, whatever the case is. And you can see that there's gonna be a start and an end date that I did for more of a production environment. And it's gonna loop through all the games between these two dates of the 7th and the 8th. So if you go back to the uh, name of the file, you can see that I've named this guy 0808 2023. So this would be one of the games that'll get looped through and will be checked. Appreciate it, guys. I hope this was transparent. I hope it was helpful for you uh, to understand you know, the way um, we're designing things. Please reach out if you have any questions. Thanks. Bye-bye.